Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, I'm going to make a hammer eye punch out of this magic material. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Trust Me on Blacksmith. In this episode, I'm going to tell you the winner of the giveaway for both of these, the Hammer Eye Drift and the Hammer Eye Punch. That'll come at the end of the video. I'll also talk, tell you the answer to the question that I asked, and I will also tell you what this material is. Now, I asked you in a previous video to guess what this material was, and lots of you guys guessed absolutely spanking bang on. It is titanium. Now, Titanium is a super metal. It has some really amazing qualities. Not only is it super strong, it's really tough, it's got great ductility, and it's got great heat resistance. Hence the reason why I have picked it up and decided to make a hammer eye punch out of it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. And no matter what happens, I will make another one if this fails, and I will send it out to the person who won the competition in the last video. Let's quickly talk about titanium. Titanium was discovered in 1791 in England, in Cornwall, uh, as a black sand, uh, and then it was named in 19, uh, sorry, it was named in 70, 1795 as titanium. Uh, it's 20 set, 22nd element on the periodic table, and it's the ninth most common material on earth. Now, with all this strength and toughness and common being really quite common, why don't we see it more? Well, the answer is we've only really known about this material for about 200 years and we've only really been making it in industry for use for about 40 years. In fact, the, ma the manufacturing of the Blackbird, which is an aeroplane that the US military used for going really high, was one of the first commercial uses or military uses for titanium. And we've only really been making solid bars of titanium since the 1930s, really. So it's quite a rare material considering how common it is. Now, why is it so rare? Well, it's so rare because it's so very difficult to make. In fact, it takes about six months to make about a tonne of titanium. Uh, that's going from its ore extraction process all the way through to the manufacturing process at the end. Um, but it is, it is fairly common in day-to-day uh, in day uh, day life. In fact, you might find it in your toothpaste, you might find it in paint, and you definitely find it in white sparkling fireworks. So how do they make titanium? Well, titanium is made, uh, first of all, by extracting the ore from sand, mostly. Um, it's very common. I think you find it all over the world. You can even find it on the moon. Then what they do once they've extracted the ore is um, they put it in big vessels, they heat it up until it becomes a gas, and then they add chlorine. That makes titanium chloride. They then take the titanium chloride, they put it in another vessel, they pull that vessel under a vacuum, they then heat that up to like 3,000 degrees Celsius, I don't know the Fahrenheit. Uh, once they've done that, they then add magnesium. Magnesium turns, uh, uh, removes the chlorine from the titanium chloride, making magnesium chloride, thus making titanium sponge, a very porous material. That porous material is then crushed, cold, it's then compressed, it's then welded together, arc welded in a vacuum, uh, or an argon rich environment and then it is put back into another furnace, reheated once again, and then using hydraulic presses, it's squashed. Uh, and that makes the titanium that we know and love. Um, titaniums grades one to four are pure titanium. They're cold working titaniums, which means they are soft or very ductile. You can hit them with a hammer and they'll move. This is grade five. Grade five is really, really tough. It's also very strong, um, and it's probably not the right material that I need for this job, but it definitely does have some good heat-resistant qualities. Uh, grade 6 is probably more like the stuff that I want. That's probably the kind of stuff that the Blackbird might have been made. So I'm going to give making this a go today, uh, this punch. I'm going to get on with that now. So I don't believe titanium is a very good conductor. Uh, this is why it's great with heat. Um, it heats up quite quickly, but then dissipates the heat just as quick as it took it in. So I think this will get quite cool um, a lot faster than, uh, say, steel, for example. Also, it, doesn't want, it wants to be forged above 900 degrees Celsius. God, that's hard. I am forging it, but wow. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the fire and start getting this hot properly. So I thought this was gonna happen, the bar's fish lipping like mad. So I'm just gonna upset the end back in. Uh, nope, I'm gonna have to cut that bit off. <laughs> Great start, Mr. Moss. taken the titanium uh, down to a taper and then brought it out to octagon. Anything above this red colour, it just bounces and moves all over the place. It's hard as hell at that point. Um, two things that I don't know about, but I'm, I, um, I don't know whether or not it's good to be forging cold. I don't know whether or not that's going to cause cold shuts and cracks and things like that, so I'm not going to. I'm going to stop forging at the red temperature at all. Wow, it's almost stopped being... <coughs> hot. Um, and the second, and the second thing is, this stuff oxidizes, so it corrodes, um, and it gives us sparks like uh, steel wood. So I'm assuming you can plasma cut this stuff, which also means it will burn. So, so this is going really well, considering I thought it was going to be real hard work. As long as it's hot, it's quite pleasant to work. The second it gets cold, like it is now, it stops moving. Um, so if you do have a forge that can get up to a reasonable temperature, about 1,200 degrees, give it a go. Uh, it's, uh, it's, that's it, it stops me, that, it's, oh, gets like that and then that's it, it stops. It's hardly moving. Okay, so I've taken it round, and I hope that's fairly central as well. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It forges lovely, but when it's hot, like now, nothing. Probably damaging my bloody hammer. Right, a bit more making that round. Okay, so I've worked with some hard materials before, but this is insane stuff. Um, the flat discs are hardly touching it, um, and I don't want to get a grinder out and put big gouges in it. I've got a 36 grit uh, uh, sanding pad in here. This, is, this, this will polish up the faces of the hammers after they've been hardened, no problem. This stuff is insane. Right, I'm just going to give it a clean up, uh, because the hammer marks, I just want to get some of these hammer marks out. Um, and, then, um, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, the sparks are bright white by the way.
Okay, so I've done a little bit of a little bit of a polishing up and a little bit of grinding on it. Uh, it 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 won't grind. Uh, it won't. Uh, <laughs> I had to put um, I had to put a normal grinding angle grinding disc on to get the meat out from the front, and then after that the flat discs just weren't touching it. It sounds like glass, but um, I've given it a whack a couple of times, and it's it's not shattering. Titanium isn't heat treatable um, to any real degrees. You don't harden it. Uh, it just becomes softer as it gets hotter. Uh, titanium has a temper range. Uh, you can temper it, um, but I don't know necessarily if that's tempering or like when you talk about brass or cobalt, it's a feathering process. So uh, you get the oxidization colors coming through. Titanium is very beautiful. It has lots and lots and lots of different colors. Uh, everything from blues to purples to greens um, to reds as well, I think you can get if you uh, know what you're doing. Um, this was a piece of 25 uh, by 100, so an inch by uh, 4 inches, um, and it's made this little darling. It weighs nothing. It's, it, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go and get the scales and I'll weigh. This is the one that Dan made the other day, uh, and this is the one that I've just made, and we'll weigh them. The steel first. That comes in at uh, 210 grams, or 8, eight is that 8 ounces? 8 ounces, yeah. So this comes in at 200 grams and just under 8 ounces. <laughs> That's considerable. Uh, it's about, uh, it's as strong as steel, certain types of steels and it's half the weight. So there you are. Well, what an absolutely magical material this stuff is. It's gorgeous to grind. It looks amazing when it's got the temper colours in. It works really well. It's as light as a feather. Um, it's hell of expensive. Um, is it the right material for the job though? Um, but this stuff worked really well. Um, I got this off um, eBay. Uh, I'll put a link to where I found it from in the description. Uh, it's a piece of inch by four inch or 25 by 100 mil ish. Uh, it works lovely. It's absolutely brilliant punch. You literally pull it out hot, stick it in the water, stick it back in the hole. Works really well. The punch I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make slightly longer so you've got a bit of a handle to hold uh, because um, this one needs a pair of tongs to use because I wanted it for under the power. I think, um, I think this is a nice, nice little bit of kit. Now, onto the important stuff. The number of times I went in and out of the green door to the kitchen slash toilet. Um, I counted 12 times that I went in and out. Uh, so if you guessed 12, congratulations, you'll be entered into the draw. Uh, I'm going to announce the draw uh, in just a second, the winner in just a second. Um, basically I'm going to use that online random picky thing. Um, I would hopefully try and get it in the video to see the winner, uh, but unfortunately, if, if that doesn't happen, I'll just put the name of the winner up uh, in a second. Uh, you'll see that just now. Um, so yeah, let's get on with that. So congratulations to you, um, send me your details and I will get these bits out to you in the post. Obviously I don't know who the winner is yet because I haven't done the picking bit, uh, but I will do. Uh, you'll be getting a new one of these, obviously because I've used this one, and a new one of these with a slightly longer handle on it. Congratulations, well done. So thank you for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm still absolutely minging um, and I'm going to try and get a few more videos out before I go back into mad, mad mode again. Um, but um, I'm trying to get a bit of rest in as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's everything now, isn't it? Yeah, so thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are a subscriber, so remember to click onto 
uh, that bell next to the subscribe button for notifications because that will tell you every time I make a video. Uh, the link for the titanium will be down in the description so you can get yourself some if you want to. I definitely recommend trying it, uh, especially if your fire gets nice and hot. Uh, drop a comment, tell me what you thought of the video uh, and all sorts of other things. Tell me what else you think I should do with titanium if you think I should. Otherwise, tell me it was a load of nonsense, Dan. I was talking absolute rubbish uh, but do let me know if you want to see more titanium um, I'm quite happy to do that uh, you will soon be seeing the special hammers that I'm making for another video uh, and um, that is it I think that's everything so thank you for joining me um, I will leave a link up here to a video where I made a drift I will leave a link down here to some random video uh, this is my patreon go and check out my patreon it's a great way to support the channel and uh, this here this button there is the subscribe button Press that and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for seeing you guys. Happy New Year, and I hope you had a good Christmas. Bye.